Hello Alden Plants. Today we're going to be talking about merchandising on our branded table and now that we're in the summertime with the heat and lower volume on product sales we're going to be talking about summer spacing and making sure that we're filling the grid properly. As we look at the quartz on this side of the table it actually looks fairly full. You don't see a lot of grid spacing in between. So in the springtime you would have you know four to five flats all packed in you know pot to pot. In the summertime though we're actually going to leave a little bit of space in between and you can see that we only have three flats here uh, spread amongst the table to make it look full. As we talk about spacing between the flats and or pots you just want to use about your hand to measure the distance. It can be anywhere between three and five inches uh, depending on how much product you have to put on the table but you want to make sure it's even all the way down uh, and that you don't have larger gaps or smaller gaps. Another thing you want to avoid is just having a single flat. When you get down to that little bit amount of product, it may be easier just to go ahead and get it off the table. Um, that way you don't have large areas of grid showing as you go down. So as we get further down the table, you're going to notice that we only have two to three flats of each type of product uh, in a row. And it doesn't look any less full than it does in the springtime just because of the way it's spaced out. It's nice and organized, everything's pulled to the edge and the brands are showing. So now we're on the gallon side, and as you can see, we've got some spacing between our pots as we go down. Again, about a hand width. Uh, some of them are a little more or less. This is where the balancing comes in, and just making sure it's uniform all the way down. Uh, we do need to pull some of these up to the edge of the table, but again, we've got some good spacing between them. Now, again, does this look any less merchandised or less full? than it would be in the spring if we had them jammed in there pot to pot. No, proper spacing keeps the table looking full. So as we talk about Y-frames and hanging baskets, it's just about balance and uniformity, making sure we've got a nice solid line, that you don't have like two on one Y-frame, four on another, and that if they're on extenders, they're all on extenders on that row. If you have empty extenders, to pick them up and take them to the back of the Y-frames and hang them there. The front eight feet of the table, or the spotlight area, is normally reserved for RTUs or caches so that we can have some of our larger spotlight items up there. Now, as it's summertime, we're getting lighter on products, so as you can see here, we've got one gallon Vigoro on one side and one gallon Nature's Nutrients on the other. Now, the reason I bring up the brand is because we've also got our 12 by 24 sign on the front of this table, and we want it centered on the table and we also want it to reflect the product that's there. So as you can see, it's a Vigoro sign for the Vigoro table.